check this out guys the new savage model 110 tactical has arrived at the rat cave oh my god and it is a lovely piece of kit as well right kindly on loan from edgar brothers let me throw out some specs before we have a closer look so i'm just going to grab my back sheet which i have kindly from edgar brothers as well so saves me doing all my research which is pretty cool now you've seen the range time video of this thing in action throughout a bit of a i think it was only about a five or six minute video um just at the range of this thing really really impressed with it did have a few little issues but i think that was probably down to me and or the ammo that i was using but i'll talk about that in a minute but let's just talk about um well let's just go through the the specs first of all so what have we got here this is the savage 110 tactical okay uh, like i said kindly on loan from edgar brothers here in the uk right so <laughs> made by savage arms bolt action uh, matte black barrel uh, the rifling ranges from one in seven and a half inch twist to one in ten caliber specific um available in 308 and 65 creed more and just re reverting to my fact sheets six millimeter creed more as well okay so yeah the six millimeter creed more is one in seven and a half inch six five is one in eight inch twist and 308 is the one in ten okay that makes sense uh doesn't come with sights just comes with a big 20 moa rail as you can see i'll show you some close-ups in a minute trigger pull weight varies from one and a half pounds to six pounds again we'll give that a pull in true rack and load style shortly stock it's a synthetic accu stock uh, it's the gray in in the 308 is gray um and in the 6.5 you can either get it in flat dark earth or i think you can get it in the gray as well so i'll just show you a picture of them so that flat dark earth that is the tactical desert i do like that i'm a big fan of desert colored dirt firearms really cool but i do like this stock really do like this stock um overall length is 43 and a quarter inches to 44 46 and a half in inches depending on model weighing in at eight well 8.65 to 8.87 pounds so that's really precise really precise detachable 10 round magpul accuracy international or p mag stock uh, stock magazine even really really cool threaded barrel soft uh soft touch i always say soft touch not soft touch um soft grip forend and pistol grip surfaces which is really nice and a tactical oversized bolt handle uh, accufit system i'm just sort of reading off specs here the accufit system lets shooters quickly adjust the comb height and length of pull again i'll show you that in a minute uh, adjustable accu trigger as well Let's get rid of the paperwork. Let's just show you how it is. It's always best. I'll put the paperwork there just in case I have to refer to uh, anything. Because you know what I'm like. I'll go script free and then I'm like... Ooh. So yeah, right then. <laughs> Let's take a closer look. Well, before I uh, sort of show you the rifle in finer detail, we have a brand new Bushnell Forge scope riding on top. I'll throw in details of that thing uh, in the description of the video because uh, there's quite a bit of info about that thing. What I will say is, what a brilliant scope. Oh my God, what a brilliant scope. I've fallen in love with this scope, let me tell you. Throw lever comes as standard. This is the 3 to 24 big, big scope. Uh, this is, I think it's the 50 by 50. I could be wrong. I generally am wrong. 
what a scope oh my god what a really 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 nice scope that thing is seriously well impressed i mean i'm i'm not really a scope snob um you know i kind of just roll with anything as long as it it's it's all right well i say that having shot at um sharpshooting uk uh, a few weeks back well a few months back now i discovered um pretty much how good and bad some scopes are and yeah it was a bit of a learning curve don't get me wrong you know i do a lot of long range shooting and when you think a certain makes you know half decent and then you look through a really high end make you kind of realize that actually what you have been using is pretty crap but yeah that's in my case anyway but no this bushnell i've, I've found a couple of bushnells actually i think i've yeah i've got a bushnell riding on top of one of my cz's I cannot fault Bushnells, but this forge, oh my God, really good. Really, really cool scopes. If you're uh, into your real detailed scope reviews, go check out Richard Utting at Sharpshooting UK. Uh, check out his channel. Uh, no doubt, I'm sure he'll get his hands on one of these to test and review. He is your man for scope reviews. I certainly am not. I am not that sort of technical minded when it comes to scopes, uh, but keep an eye on his channel because i'm sure when he gets one of these he'll uh, he'll test it and really give a good good review on it but from my point of view an amazing scope really really cool to a really cool really nice to adjust just just a real real nice scope cannot fault it anyway let's get back to the rifle let's get back to the rifle so i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about the magazine first of all so polymer Magpul P Mags, how cool is that? Ten rounders, like I said, this is 308 or 762 by 51. Um, it's 308, it's 308, but these will take 762 by 51 as well. <laughs> I guess they'll take 65 Creed more as well, won't they? Um, yeah, cannot fault the magazines. You are supplied with one with this rifle, just. Uh, really reliable decent magazines easy to load lightweight as well can't fault the magazines i'll leave that out for a minute so let's take it from the stock end then so the adjustable adjustability of this stock is really quite cool in fact i need to get them out of the box don't i let me just grab something this is what i mean this is all the uh, bits and pieces that come with this rifle look at all those spaces to adjust the length of pull i mean there's already one or two in there as you can see there's a load more you can really adjust just this uh, rifle to suit your needs different uh, comb heights there as well just it's really really good really good you know it's only a matter of just sort of getting this thing set up perfectly for yourself and then you are ready to rock that is really cool i do like that i mean yeah a lot of rifles you get one or two sort of spaces and bits and pieces but look at this you get a bag full of bits so cannot fault savage for that just get that out of the way so yeah the actual recoil pad is a real nice soft rubber which is nice on a 308 because after a bit it does tend to bounce a little bit so really nice uh, rubberized stock there fully synthetic rubberized recoil pad even fully synthetic as you can see not sort of hollow or anything it's real tough soft uh, touch um, cheek piece there so I'm just dropping my microphone I think my microphone's just gone really really comfortable I'm a lefty that is ambidextrous that stock is no doubt about it really nice uh, sling swivel stud there you've got your stickers here just to sort of remind yourself of what you've got no you would peel them off anyway i don't know whether i would it's quite funny actually i've got a uh, tika t1x i've had it for like six months and i've still not peeled the stickers off i just kind of like the stickers <laughs> kind of look cool that's just me i guess that's weird um, moving on to the pistol grip, uh, you've got 
Savage's little logo there and like this sort of nice checkering almost well it's not sort of checkering it's almost like squares kind of reminds me of like the uh, pattern you get on like a Caltech it's kind of cool really like the pistol grip really nice oh this is getting heavy now let's spin it around a sec and then what was talk about the stock uh, they say savage say that this rifle is um secured into the stock three dimensionally so rather than just like say a couple of screws going that way um it, i believe it is screwed so uh, it is secured sideways as well to give it, to give it like the three dimensional um securing to the stock i guess i guess that's what you'd call it we don't get too technical on this channel guys you should know that by now so yeah pretty much the rifle is secured well and truly uh, into the stock um, moving on to the fore end you've got like this same sort of um texturing like you have on the pistol grip really nice nice and wide as well the fore end is very comfortable Two sling swivel studs there, so obviously one for a sling, one for a bipod. I was actually shooting this off a rest uh, to start with. I didn't have a bipod available. Uh, it was basically just uh, on other test guns at the time, but it was nice shooting off a bench, actually, off a, off a rest. It was uh, kind of nice. I, I don't know, I do like shooting off bipods, but occasionally it's it's kind of nice to shoot off off a rest i don't know why that's it again that's probably a bit weird for me but i don't know it's just nice you know you, because you can sort of just pick the pick the rifle up and get a good a good feel of it as well you know without having a bipod in your way so yeah the stock i really love look at the profile of that barrel fluted as well i did get this thing hot <laughs> yeah i did get it hot actually i had to let it cool down I think I do get rifles a bit hot sometimes. I need to sort of just ease off. Uh, screw cut as well to throw on a mod. And you've got like a knurled um, thread protector there. Okay. So I believe that is half inch UNF. I'll throw all those details in the uh, description of the video. Moving on to the actual action obviously bolt action as you can see um, you've got this 20 moa rail which is good to go which gives it a nice tactical look uh, as well as it's your obvious advantages the bottom of the action and the magazine well and the trigger guard is all metal there uh, even the magazine release is metal too which is nice real solid rifle um, the action itself, just lovely. Pretty pretty damn smooth. I mean, I'm rolling the footage. I was using steel cased ammo. I don't know whether that was causing one or two issues with this or whether I was just being a bit too gentle with it, with it being um, a gun that's on loan. You know, I think I, I tend to be a little bit too gentle because I'm like, Ooh, I don't want to damage it or anything but no I, sh I should be a little bit rough to be fair rough i say rough um <laughs> i don't know I, sh I shouldn't be as gentle i shouldn't be as gentle ammunition wise i was using um this hornaday steel match ammo uh, 155 grain um steel cased ammo yeah it weren't bad actually i'll, sh I'll show uh, show you a uh, target in a minute so that was the stuff we were using. I don't know whether it was just a little bit, I don't know whether it didn't like it so much or what. I mean, it shot pretty accurately uh, with this ammo. I just, I don't know, I just, I don't know, I don't know whether it was just having the odd issue. I, don't, I couldn't sort of pinpoint what the problem was. I don't know whether I was closing the bolt hard enough or what, because every so often, um, you chamber around, lock the bolt up, as you would. Pull the trigger, and it was like no, not striking. Uh, the pin. It was like it was firing, but it wasn't. And when you ejected the cartridge, it wasn't even striking the primer on the cartridge. 
So I don't know whether it, that, that could have been me, the way I was loading it. I don't know. But, but I tended to... It was kind of weird. When I was trying to do sort of real precise shots, you know, and be nice and smooth with the bolt, that's when it did it. But when I well, thought, yeah, right, I'm just going to do a bit of a mag dump, you know, just shoot this thing pretty rapidly, it didn't do it. So maybe it was me. I don't know. Or was it a combination of the steel cased ammo? The newness of the gun, that could have played a part, I don't know. But after a little bit, it stopped doing it. So maybe it was me adjusting to it. Maybe it was the, the rifle settling in, you know, sort of after 50, 50 odd or so rounds. Who knows? Who knows? But it shot pretty well. Let's jump into accuracy while we've sort of um, mentioned the ammo. So this was using the Hornady 308, 155 grain steel match ammo, 100 yards. Now this is me shooting guys, okay? So before anyone says anything in the comments, this is me shooting. So always, always bear that in mind. I am not a super duper tactical sniper, world class shot, okay? But I did get a pretty damn good group with this stuff. Bear in mind, it's a new rifle, so it hasn't really been run in. You know, some people believe in that, some people don't. Whether a rifle should be run in and whatnot to get the best out of it. But 100 yards with steel cased ammo. Boom. That was my best group. Okay. You guys will do way better than that. I know you will. I know you will. Ignore that one in the middle. That's where I was sort of just walking the scope up. Uh, getting it zeroed but eh, that was all right that was better happy with that bit of a flyer on there i'll put that group so yeah it's moa it? it's moa we, there's no doubt about that thanks double juice for the targets by the way let's get rid of that yeah so that was actually wise with this you know um Put more rounds through it, like any rifle, get it settled in. Like I said, this is a, it was a brand brand new rifle, wasn't even sort of fired, you know, um, probably apart from the proof house. Um, so yeah, bear that in mind. Uh, and like I said, it was me shooting as well. Let's put that magazine in, it just looks... Cool. No, we'll leave it out for a sec, we'll leave it out for a sec. So yeah, accuracy pretty damn god you know like i said with someone else shooting that's way better than me you'll get some excellent accuracy out of this but that was actually 100 yards anyway not bad at all not bad at all right let's talk about the rest of the gun god i'm going off all over the place here so yeah accu trigger in that thing i like the accu trigger i really do like it very, very, yeah, very light, very light. It uh, caught me out, I think, after my, my second shot. I was getting my finger on the trigger and it was like, boom, off it went. I was like, whoa, that thing is light. Let's give it a pull um, and just see what this particular rifle is doing. Let's move the ammo out of the way. Don't worry, I do trust myself, but I just don't like having ammo on the table when I'm trigger pulling. Okay, so... Oh, baby. One pound, 14 ounces. That is a sweet trigger. That is light. That is light. I am not used to light triggers like that. I'm used to sort of like pulling triggers with both hands. No, I'm not that bad. I'm not that bad. Sweet trigger. Sweet trigger. To be fair, that is probably, for me personally, it was a bit light for me, a bit too light for me. I, I like to kind of, um, you know, feel it a little bit before I, <laughs> before it goes off. That, if you're wondering, is, that thing there is to show that it's cocked. So, obviously it's not cocked now because I've just fired it. But if I cock it, notice it goes up into that position to just give you an indication that it's cocked. It's not a, a chambered round indicator. It just shows that it's cocked. Yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. Yeah, pretty cool. Um, safety catch is this here. So it's, it's like a tang safety catch. I do like that. 
nice nice safety catch there yeah I'm a big fan of uh, Tang safety catches if I'm honest the bolt the bolt handle you've got to love that tactical looking bolt handle look at that thing knurled as well offers loads of grip really really love the bolt handle on this let's take it out quite interestingly to take it out you have to have three hands <laughs> so you pull it back pull the bolt back as far as it'll go pull the trigger this is where you need three hands okay pull the trigger and press this um cox indicator so you press that right down and the bolt will come out okay let's just put that down i'll show you the bolt to give you a bit of a closer look so there is the bolt little focus you've got savage's logo looks like it's etched on there or lasered on there nice solid bolt there but I love that bolt handle, love the profile of it, love the knurling on it. Really, really nice. It gives it gives the uh, the 110 tactical its tactical look, I think. In fact, while we've got that out, I'll just show you show you bits that you can't see when it's when it's in. Okay. Yeah, just love the profile of that. Really nice. It feels really good. It's you know it's um, well it's tactical. What's not what's not to like about it? So you have to do the opposite to put the bolt back in. Okay, so you've depressed the trigger, press that uh, cocked indicator, and there you go. Very smooth bolt. Really, really nice. Just show you in there as well. Urgh. God, I need to go to the gym. This thing gets heavy after a bit holding it up to the camera. What a great rifle though. Real great rifle. I say, like I said, the, um, the I don't know whether it is ammo issues or what, or it was just user user issues. It usually is user, user issues when, when I'm behind the trigger of anything, to be fair. Um, magazine release, which is here. So, nice big mag release, push it forward, and that releases the mag, like so, okay. I do like the fact that you can use um, P magazines in this thing. Can you use, uh, no, I was gonna say, I've got AR-15 magazines here, but they're in, no, they won't work. It's all right, they're in 5.56. Five, no, they won't work, will they? <laughs> what am I on about? Forget that. Yeah, I just love the fact that you can use P mags in there. Ten rounders as well. It just gives it gives it that tactical look. It's almost um, reminds me of like a scout rifle. You know, obviously scout rifles usually have the uh, open sights as well. But yeah, just just like that. A little bit sort of Ruger scout with the with the uh, the straight mag, big mag on it. Really cool. I, I love it anyway. Love it. I, can I fault anything about this rifle? No, not really. Um, I guess it uh, probably... Actually, this loaded... Well, it's not a loaded indicator. You can't get... Actually, you can't get mixed up with a loaded indicator or a chambered round indicator. The cocked uh, indicator. I think it could be... a. I don't know. I don't know actually. I do I do like the idea, but I think it could be a bit more obvious because it's not amazingly obvious. I mean that's that's to show that it's cocked and that's to show that it's not cocked. It's not obvious, is it? But I mean, you know guys, you always treat a rifle a firearm uh, as it's as if it's loaded anyway. But I don't know it's it's a bit. Uh, I don't know. Don't know. No, it's, it's. I like the idea of it. I just think it could be a bit more obvious. If I'm honest. If I'm honest. So. So yeah, the 110 tactical, the desert one. 
Oh my God, I love that. If, that. if it was me, I'd be going for that. No questions asked, I love that. But I do like this gray finish, really do, really do. Right, let me show you the manual. We'll talk about the manual. The manual is very good. Um, pretty much shows you and tells you everything you really need to know. And it's all in Queen's English. Should I say the Queen's English? Probably could do with some colour photographs in there. They are they are all black and white, but this pretty much co covers, by the looks of it, um, the 110, all of the 110 range. I depend, you know, it doesn't it's got ones with different stocks in and whatnot, but pretty much shows you everything you need to know how to. Um, take the bolt out, it shows you that uh, that uncocked and cocked indicator there. I don't know, I just find that not mega obvious if I'm honest. But you know, it is what it is. I like, I do like, I say, I do like the idea of it. it shows you different stocks here and, and whatnot. Uh, this is pretty cool. I do like this. It comes with the target and it says, Give it your best shot. So I think Savage want you to do a, do a paper punching uh, operation for them and send them their send them the targets. That's that's kind of cool. And you've got some QR codes here as well, so you can go to um, Savage's website. And then I do like this. You see this in virtually all uh, manuals now. Firearms exploded diagrams. So do like that. I'm a big fan of that now. So if you like your tinkering, you can see what bits you forgot to put back on the rifle when you put it back together. Yeah, really cool. Very, uh, very, very nice, well laid out manual. It's got some, uh, it's quite interesting. Got some uh, ammunition information there. So that's pretty cool. Excuse the fireworks going off in the background, guys. It is that time of year. So yeah, not a bad manual, to be fair. Not bad at all, just need some colour photographs. You know, if you're a manual snob like myself. Uh, what else have I got to show you? Uh, comes with a, I'll just grab it, guys. It comes with a, box tactical uh, tactical i was going to say tactical why do i say tactical yeah it looks kind of tactical doesn't it <laughs> plastic box um no storage box so you can sort of take that to the range what else we got in here just a trigger lock a few other bits and pieces there oh it has actually come with some earplugs yeah good attention to detail savage like that. I think you've got a sticker in there as well. Like I said, you've got all those bits uh, for your stock. So that is that is nice. Obviously, your manual, as you've just seen, that's in the box. So yeah, a real nice rifle, guys. Um, like I say, I cannot really fault it. Uh, a real real nice rifle i love i just love the fact that it takes the p mags i love the bolt handle just love the profile of that topped off with this bushnell forward scope this thing looks the part it really does look the part and it shoots pretty damn well as well um you know i just fire i just put through the, those um steel match ammo yeah, I, that's all I put through this rifle, to be fair. So, you know, uh, feed it on some uh, different different rounds, you know, and see what sort of accuracy you'll get. You'll tighten up them groups, no doubt. I mean, you, you guys will tighten up the groups anyway <laughs> compared to my shooting. But, uh, yeah, a real cool rifle. Let's have a look at this side. You, there's never really that much to see on the... Uh, the right hand side of on the left hand side of the rifle 
unless it's left-handed of course but that's what it looks like with no stickers on anyway I do like that grey I really do like the grey really nice cool cool rifle let me know what you think guys I I do like this this is the first Savage I have I have reviewed one of many I'm sure to come special thanks to Edgar Brothers for the lone rifle these are pretty damn new here in the UK the 110 tactical anyway guys that is it that is your layman's rack and load review of the Savage Model 110 tactical thanks for watching that's rack and load see ya